Hello guys, today I will discuss about the types of mutagens. So in this video, I will cover physical mutagens, then chemical mutagens and finally the biological mutagens. So without any delay, let's start the video. So mutation is caused by some external factor that is known as the mutagen. So mutagen is an agent that is capable of inducing changes in the DNA. So here mutagens can be of three types. These physical mut mutagens, chemical mutagens and biological mutagens. So these are the broad categories of the mutagen and in the physical mutagen we study about the radiations which are ionizing and non-ionizing while the chemical mutagens they include like base analog agents, alkylating agents, intercalating agent, deaminating and hydroxidating agent. Similarly, the biological mutagens, they include viruses and transposable elements or transposomes. So now let's discuss all these mutagens in detail. So first are the physical agents. So they include radiations and radiations are of two types, ionizing radiations and non-ionizing radiations. So first the ionizing radiations have high penetration power. So they can just cause the breakage in the DNA and also the base modifications. So example of ionizing radiation include X-ray, gamma rays and cosmic rays. While non-ionizing radiations, they include ultraviolet rays. So these UV rays, they cause the formation of pyrimidine dimer, that is thymine dimer, which distort the DNA helix and also it cause the error in the DNA replication and transcription. So as there is an error in the replication, which ultimately result in the mutations. Next chemical mutagens. So these are certain, you can say certain types like first base analogs. So here the name indicate analogs means they are similar to some bases. So base analogs are very much similar to the DNA bases. So as they are similar, so they get incorporated into DNA instead of an original base pair and they cause the, you can say the error during the replication. So for an example, here, this 5-bromouracil, as you can see here, this 5-bromouracil, it is the base analog of thymine. As you can see, the difference between their structure is simply instead of this CH3 group, this 5-bromouracil has the bromine group attached to it. So, due to this change, now this can behave like thymine because it is a base of uh, base analog of the thymine. So as a result, it will insert it in the DNA during the replication and the property of this 5 bromine is that it can base pair with either with adenine or with guanine. If it is base pair with this guanine, so now you can see that there will be creation of mutation because now there will be guanine in the DNA instead of adenine because this 5 bromine is paired with the guanine in an unusual way. So this can cause the mutation. Similarly, if you look into another example that is 2-aminopurine. So it is also the base analog of adenine. Here you can see the difference between adenine and 2-aminopurine is that in the 2-aminopurine there is addition of amino group at the second position. So due to this, now this 2-aminopurine can also incorporate inside the DNA and it base pair with cytosine. So if it will base pair with cytosine, so there will be the error during the replication which will ultimately result in the creation of mutation. Then second type of chemical mutagens are alkylating agent. So they are alkylating means they add the alkyl group to the DNA basis. Their example include ethyl methyl sulfonate nitrous guanidine. So let's take the example of EMS. So here this is guanine which is a normal uh, base which is present in the DNA. So this EMS, ethyl methyl sulfonate, it will add alkyl group to this guanine and ultimately convert this guanine to another compound which is O6-ethyl guanine. So as you can clearly see here, this is the alkyl group or ethyl group added by this EMS. So as a result, now this O6 ethyl guanine can base pair with thymine. So as now you can see here in this picture, so now this 
O6 ethyl guanine is base pairing with the thymine. So as a result, there will be changing in the base pairing and ultimately array during the replication which will responsible for the mutation. So ultimately, this cause the CG to TA mutation means cytogen guanine to the thymine adenine mutation. Next example of chemical mutagen is deaminating agent. So here again the name indicate D means removal and aminate means amino. So they just remove the amino group from the DNA base and hence change their property. So here example include nitrous acid. For example, this is cytosine which is a normal base pair present in the DNA. So this nitrous acid HNO2 it will remove its amino group. So as you can see this cytosine has this amino group. So this nitrous acid remove this amino group and ultimately due to the removal of amino group as you can see here now there is oxygen instead of amino group. So due to the removal of amino group this cytosine is converted into the uracil. So as you know this uracil can pair with adenine and definitely it will pair with adenine so it will cause the mutation that is CG to TA mutations. Next example of this chemical mutagens is hydroxylating agent. So here again name indicate hydroxylating means they add hydroxyl group that is OH group to the DNA basis which ultimately change their property and leads to the mispairing. So here example include like this is cytosine and hydroxyl amine. This agent hydroxyl amine agent can add hydroxyl group to this cytosine as you can clearly see here this hydroxyl group that is OH group is added to cytosine by this hydroxyl amine. So as a result now it can base pair with adenine this hydroxyl amine cytosine now base pair with adenine which result in the CG2 TA mutations. Next type of chemical mutagens are intercalating agents. So their name indicate intercalating means they just inserted themselves between the DNA base pair and ultimately they just cause the frame shift mutation and error during the replication. So example include acridine dye or ethidium bromide. So here if you see this is the normal DNA base pairing and this acridine orange which is an intercalating agent. So it it can get inserted between these base pair and ultimately it will cause error in the replication which result in the creation of mutation in the DNA. So by this way this intercalating agent they cause the mutations. Now next category of the chemical mutagen is biological mutagens. So they include some biological entities which are the cause of mutations. So they include transposomes or transposable elements and viruses. So as you know the transposomes are those elements which can shift their position within the DNA. So as they shift their positions so they may cause some errors in the reading frame of the DNA and which ultimately can be the reason of mutations and similarly the viruses they integrate their genome into the genetic material of host and due to the integration of their genome into the genetic material of host there will be creation of mutation. So example of viruses include like retroviruses or human papilloma viruses. So that's all for today guys. See you in the next video. Thank you very much.